Hi everyone, Sandra from uh, Scrap. Oh my gosh, I'm all mixed up already. Oh my gosh, Scrap to Beauty. <laughs> this is an impromptu. As you can see, I'm like all mixed up today. <laughs> so I just came on to show some Christmas stuff, and um, I want to do um, James um, Burke's create uh, challenge. He has this challenge, so. Um, that's what I'm going to be working on. If that's something you're not interested or you don't like to see somebody's haul, then this is probably not the video for you. So if you're watching over on YouTube, you can fast forward to wherever, you know, you want. Or, like I said, if you're not interested in hauls or challenges, then this is not the video for you. Okay. So hi, everyone. It's Friday. Um, I'm not streaming on Sunday. They're having the New Year's Streamathon. So I thought maybe I would just come on and you guys could keep me a little busy and I could wish you guys a happy new year before in case I don't make it on Sunday. So <laughs> yeah, Eileen. So Eileen is in the chat, showed this to us on Twitter and of course everybody or some people had it already. So I um, went to get it and I didn't realize that it was just scrapbook paper but um or backgrounds I should say but it's double sided so if I wanted to use this side I'm gonna lose this side so um, then I saw she had another book so I'll just flip through this really quick this is some of her backgrounds and this girl her name is Mimi Bondi Mimi Bondi yeah but are, I love the book but are you using the pages or are you photocopying the pages because I don't want to rip these out and then you don't you know you don't get to use both both sides hi Tammy so she does beautiful backgrounds so I saw that she had another book um, that I guess she teaches you how to um, do the backgrounds so I haven't even really looked at it because I just got it through it on Amazon so I'm just flipping through these yeah I love she has nice bright colors <laughs> you just look at it Um, yeah, I love her backgrounds, and I struggle with backgrounds, so I'm glad to see uh, to see these. And then I went to her blog. She has a really nice blog, um, and I saw how she does the washi tape, like Janet's doing the washi tape. That was pretty cool. So, hi, Kathy. Hi, Azur. So I'm just going to flip through this really quick. Like I said, I don't want to use, um, either I'll photocopy it or um, after I read her other book, maybe I can do some of these. So, her videos, um, I went to her blog. I didn't watch her videos yet. It's, um, she's probably on YouTube, right? Oh, we could use it as a journal. That's a good idea to use this as a journal. Yeah, that would be good. But the pages are so pretty. It's like, oh, I just want to copy them and use like bits and pieces of them. <laughs> You're going to photocopy yours. Yeah, I'm watercolor paper. That, yeah. I photocopy most of my stuff on watercolor paper now. But, yeah, so I'll just flip through this really quick. Just stick some of the stuff out. And how's the lighting? The sun's really bright here, so I probably should put on my other light because it seems kind of dark on this side. So let me do that. The other book coordinates well with her videos. Oh, good, because that's the one I just got off of Amazon. So you can see she really loves bright colors. So, I like that. So if you're interested in this book, this is her, it's called Secret Stash Mixed Media Backgrounds. It's got the butterfly on the front cover. And there's 98 mixed media backgrounds for art journaling and collage. Yeah, I love the way she uses color too. Let me just turn on my other light to see because it's kind of dark here. Is that better? Yeah. That's better. Oh, there it is. She just put it on. Oh, thank you, Janet, for the app. It's on Amazon. Yeah, that's where I got a secret stash. And then her YouTube. Um, hi, CP. Um, I'm sure she has. I think she has a list in the back here of all her Facebook. Yeah. Her Facebook, her YouTube. Her YouTube is uh, .com and then her name, Mimi Bondi. So... She's going to do a book like this. Oh, with her magicals. That's cool. 
yeah so so I thought we would take a look at this and like I said I just got it so in the mail today so this is her no shenanigans mixed media painting with her it's got the cute little bird on it and this is a step-by-step -step mixed media painting tutorials so to release the artist in you <laughs> so like I said so You'll have a book like this when you do your, oh, and, oh, and the swap. Background swap? Who's doing a background swap? I didn't see that. So you can see here. The light's a little bit better, isn't it? I think it is. Not as dark. Who's rid of the background one? I didn't see that. I'll wait to see. So this is her here. Let's see here. <laughs> That's her right there. And she's on Instagram too, Twitter, you know, and everywhere. All right, so cleaning, drying art. So she does give you quite a few things, supplies, that stuff. <laughs> no shenanigans, yep. So step by step, different paints. See, like, look at that background right there. I love that. <laughs> oh, you're going to organize it uh, after the first of the year. Oh, okay. Well, count me in. Is it just one page you have to do or a couple? All right, so grow and bloom. Oh, so she's just giving you step-by-step -step exactly how she does stuff. So this is good. And then Kathy says it coordinates well with her YouTube videos. So, so look how nice that is. I love the backgrounds. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I didn't get a chance to look at it. But, yeah, it's cool. I like the way that she gives you step by step and she tells you, like, step outs with it. <laughs> I, me too, Jerry. Yep. So... Oh, so, so each little thing has their own little step-by-step. -step. So that's really nice. Look at that. And it looks like she doesn't use a lot of paint, just a couple colors. Wow. So there you can see. You can see how bright. Her colors are really bright, if you like bright colors. Flower power. Oh, here, look, and then she does... Um, she does all that with the washi tape. You see that? She puts her old backgrounds with the washi tape. And then she cuts out. I like that, that she cuts out the circles with the washi tape. You see that? And I mean, her steps are long. 26, 25 steps. <laughs> Look how cool. And then she does the... Uh, the flower background. See, that's kind of how it finishes off. Wow, look at that. Really pretty. <laughs> you see that one? Look at that. <laughs> Eileen said, okay, she hit the buy button. <laughs> she had this in her cart in Amazon. <laughs> and I'm only halfway through. <laughs> Hi, Kia. Shocker. I like this one. Look this one, too. This one's pretty, isn't it? So I'll just go through this really quick. I have other stuff to show, too. And the, I don't know. Um, anybody else come on? I know Barb doesn't come on now on Fridays. But I don't want to step on anybody else's toes if anybody else comes on. I know Ange doesn't come to, what, 630? Hopefully we're not on that long. <laughs> so here's the one with the circles. Um, I can't remember what it was. Can you check on Amazon? I want to say it's maybe $19 maybe. She also had it in her on her site and over Christmas or maybe even still to New Year's. She had a 20% off on hers. But I love the bird. Look at that. That bird. So cute. So she had a code. Uh, I think she in one of her YouTube videos, too, she might have had a code to get 20% off. 
And then she does it with paper, besides paint, collaging. There's a little birdie. I mean, it's really nice. I mean, she does a lot of step outs. Look at that. This is number 39. She's not even finished yet. Yeah, 47 step outs. There's any more. Oh, even more. 55. <laughs> wow. 60. 60. Yeah, so the final step out is number 62. Look at that. And there's the finished one. EK Success Punches. I have quite a few of those. You have a lot of those, Joan? <laughs> Me too. And then see here are some of her back. So she includes some background pages in this book too. So like look at that one. So if you didn't want to get the first book, look at there's how many pages of backgrounds on this one. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's that one with the bird. Eight, nine. So these are all the samples, I guess the finished samples, 10, 11, 11, like 12 pages of background, so you can see that. Yep, so there, so that's that book, No Shenanigans, Mixed Media Painting with Mimi. So yeah, so definitely this, I think it's worth getting, especially if you're stuck on backgrounds and stuff like that. All right, so everybody, Dee Dee, <laughs> Janet, they all went to Michael's and got all this amazing stuff. I really wanted that ruler, Janet. <laughs> and so this was my haul from there. Are you ready? <laughs> and I even, didn't even use my gift certificate because this is all I bought. Because <laughs> none of it was 50 off, none of it. So this was in clearance. So we can't go wrong with mermaid. It's a mermaid tape for $1.99. <laughs> that was in clearance. And then I had to get this for Gab. She loves sloths. So I used my 50 off on this um, sloth washi tape. Isn't it cute? It says, not today, uh, what's the rush, uh, nap all day. <laughs> it's really cute. See that? Oh, I can't see it. So click glare. So I did get that for her. And that was my only thing I got there. <laughs> Who had the haul? I know, sloth tape, isn't it cute? I, I didn't even notice if they had any other sloth stuff. I should have looked at her. I was just like in a rush, though. But it's cute. It was 60 off? Wow. Oh, there was no... Oh, with it? Oh, so maybe that's what it was. Because I even asked the girl, and she said, oh, planner stuff. I said, yeah, but what about the stuff with that says write it? Or, you know, whatever, the new stuff on the wall. And she goes, no. So, and I didn't have time to really go back and check. I should have just picked up one and priced it, but I didn't. So, you didn't see any sloth tape? It's kind of over by where the Valentine's Day stuff, they're just starting to put Valentine's Day um, stuff out. So, I did the, um, that. So I'm just going to show um, a couple things I got for Christmas. So I did get this new one. Jimmy got me this. This is our Faces by Kylie Fowler. So you can see that. So these are her faces there. Kind of similar to Jane's. You got hardly anything at Michael's? Yeah. That was all I got. Those two things. Um, I did get this. Art from Art Foamies. They actually gave me this free star one, kind of like a star. You can see that there. And then this one was called, what's this one called? Doesn't say, but it's, all, it's just all circles. You see it? I love this one. I thought this one would make great Christmas balls um, for Christmas. I got that. Oh. That goes with the other thing. I wind up getting this from uh, Mirror Me. Uh, did I take it all out? Yeah. 
So I wound up getting her um, stickers, her word stickers. The art foamies, yeah. I love the circles. So I wound up getting that, and then I wound up getting two of her new stencils. I really like this one, the circle one. And that's from, let's see what the name of this one is. Mixed Media Stencil 13 Arts, but I got them directly from her. And then this one, I like this one too. It's kind of like steampunkish. So I got that. So this one is called, does it say? No, but there she is there. And she's going to be having her baby pretty soon. So I don't know if you'll see her too much. Oh, yeah. So this one's called Galaxy. This one here. So it says there, Galaxy. And But this one, they didn't put a sticker for this one. So I don't know what that one is. But anyway, I think she had like three or four more. So, yeah. Yeah, and she's had, and she gave me a cute little note. And she sent a cute little card. I don't know what's in here or anything. But. Oh, she sent some of her little pearls, which I might use. I'll leave those out. I might use those. So I did get that. Yeah, she's fun to watch, yeah. But I, don't, I haven't seen her lately, so I don't know. Um, is her baby due, like, right around now or, like, in January maybe? I can't remember. And her daughter's so excited. <laughs> All right, what else? I wound up going to Tuesday morning, and they had this. You can see that, the birds? Kind of like an art foamy thing. So I wound up getting that. That was at uh, Tuesday morning. And it's got some stencils in it. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right there. You can see it's got, like, some ferns or something like that. I wound up getting that. And then this wasn't my Christmas present. I had got this before Christmas. So... January. That's what I thought, because yeah, I haven't seen her around. So, so they were kidding me um, on Twitter about getting um, Diane Reevely's uh, mermaid um, stamp, but I don't think I liked whatever else went with it. But I did like her octopus. Um, plus, I love the butterfly on here and the feathers. So I did wind up getting this one. This one's called Flight of Fancy. So I wind up getting that. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> I got that and then I have to really start using these next year because I remember I showed you like I don't know 10 or so that I got from before and I still haven't used them so um, that's one of my goals this year is to try to use a lot more of my stamps that I've gotten so hopefully with the background um, so this one is called let's see and then you know they're always in French um, mirror of the soul so that one's that so it's got some writing, um, happy you or something it says, love you, happy you. <laughs> I do too, Eileen. I love their stamps. Oh, let me get my little bag back so I can put that back in there. I have everything just thrown on the floor. That's what I was telling them earlier before I came on. I like this one. This one is um, Fairy of Colors. That's all artistry ones. Like that creative and happy. It's kind of cute. <laughs> I'm gonna show the letter ones after. I love the letter ones. And then this one is mini flirts. Joggles has a good price on them now. Oh, so if you're looking for them, yeah, you can get them at Joggles. They're running a sale. Um, they have a pretty good sale during Christmas. I like this one too. Oh, this one's all in French, so I don't know what this one is. <laughs> I should have had Gabby translate it for me before she left. But then I might have a number on there, maybe. No, but that's what they look. They're in all her stamp. Their stamps are white. Um, this one is Smile, Love, and Dancing. So it's got all sayings. Don't cry. Oh, my, this is my favorite, favorite quote, quote ever. This one says, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. So that's that one. And that's the reason why I bought that one, just for that quote. And then this one says, life isn't above 
waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. But that's my favorite quote, quote ever. And then I get some circle ones. So this one is Geometri Geometrics 2. And then this. This is a texture plate, so it's like kind of for clay, but you can sort of stamping too. I got it because it's kind of like mermaidish scales. Yeah, some of your favorite quotes, right? <laughs> and this one is scallop texture, but I really like it for mermaids. I know, Jennifer, they're so good. Um, yeah, Eileen says they're on the good price of joggles right now. And then look at this. This one is collage typography. So this is a small one. You can see that one. That one's really cool. I'm <laughs> just getting out of bed. Oh my gosh, Jean. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's he doing? Use the long ones for uh, oh, manila envelopes. Mm -hmm. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> Look at that. That takes up almost my whole screen. And this one's called, uh, it says use with an acrylic block. Really? <laughs> I don't have a big acrylic block, block that big. Um, collage Grand Alphabet. But look at it. It's huge. My two hands on there. <laughs> I could put a third hand in there. So I can't wait to use that one. So this one I might use for the backgrounds, um, for that background um, swap that you're going to have, Kathy. I'll probably use one of these. <laughs> no, it's a huge one, isn't it? <laughs> it's like huge. I mean, compared to this little one, look at it. <laughs> they do have some nice big extra ones. I had that also, that other, I don't have it down here, I don't think. I have another one that's um, extra long, and I love their stamps. So that was my haul, and I have one more thing to show you guys. I am taking um, Tammy Laporte's uh, Bloom in Ink, or She Blooms in Ink class, and so she offered, you can only get these books in England, and I wish they would have stamped what the name of this book is. I don't know, Joan, if you know what it is. It's, um, it's a certain name. Anyway, it's, they look almost kind of like a Jane Davenport's um, watercolor book. But it's all hot press, and it's smoothed on both times. And you can only get it in England. So she had a limited of 20, and she offered us um, if we wanted to buy them because that's a book that she always uses. And so um, Jimmy wound up getting me this for Christmas. So I can't wait to use that. But this is her um, watercolor book. If you come, Joan, in, from Maryland, I'm going to have you bring me <laughs> a couple of these books. Um, because the shipping on it is like whew, expensive <laughs> but yeah, you probably can't tell but the paper is so smooth so I'm anxious to use this um, but this is what um, she uses for all her journals I mean she just it's got this green uh, striping they come in red I think in blue but this is the one that she always uses do letters pop out uh, or is it solid oh no it's solid Solid CD. It's one whole solid thing. Like, how do you have an acrylic block? I would have to use like a, an acrylic 12 by 12 or something. Oh, thanks, Jen. Yeah. Yeah, because I forget the shipping. I want to say shipping was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. Almost as much as a, you could have bought another book for what the shipping was. So, yes, it's eight and a half by about eight and a half by 11. Do I have my ruler here? Um, of course I have a new ruler. Where is it? Oh, I don't have a ruler down here. Can you believe that? I took the, <laughs> my rulers like to somewhere else to fool around with and then I didn't bring them back. But yeah, well, let me see. I have an eight and a half by 11 paper. So this is eight and a half by 11. So it's just, uh, more like 11 and a, Maybe ten and a quarter by like nine, something like that. Close. Can you see it? Let's put it this way. So this is eight and a half by eleven, and you can see it comes out another half inch. 
So it's like nine by ten and a quarter, something like that. Because there, there's my finger there where the book is. <laughs> What's that? Oh, for jelly print. Yeah, I know that. Wouldn't that be pretty for jelly print? And then she did wind up giving uh, me some, some of her, she had some stickers printed out of her work. So this is like her card, her cute little card. Little reindeer on it. A4 size. Yes, Dorothy, that's what it is from England. Yeah, and then this is her stickers. Look how cute with the unicorn. See, I love her backgrounds, too. She does does really nice backgrounds. And then this is, um, yep, just a little thank you, happy arting on there. Yeah, A4, that's what it is. Yep. And then she does her life book. I know some people are taking life book, but I, I've never taken her life book. So I don't know how that class is. But, yes, I'm excited to work on this because it's all hot. I believe it's hot press, and it's smooth. It's super smooth. So... All right, so here we go. So now I asked my husband for a Lamy pen, and he wound up going on eBay to getting it. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, this is supposed to be clear in here. And I had tried to put another cartridge in here, and so I don't know if the other cartridge, when I pulled it out, left the ink in that, or if this cartridge here... Um, Actually, how do I get this out? So it came with a, um, a converter where you put your ink in it. So I definitely have to take it back out and then try to see. But they say that um, it could be a fake, my, this one from eBay. So there are certain things that the one guy has a YouTube video. He says what to look for. So now I want to see. This actually came... From Amazon and should have a guarantee which I don't see it in here oh yeah it does this one has a warranty mine did not come this one did not come with a warranty so let's see what the difference is and it came in the exact same little pretty box like this it says Lammy on it looks exactly the same so you can see they do look exactly the same now, where is this one that says Lamy on it? Oh, yeah, here it is. So the difference is, I don't know if you can see it. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. Um, hold on. Let's see. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> So now you can see this Lammy. You see that Lammy there? It's just etched. It's just etched on. So you can see that? Yep, there are a lot of knockoffs. Right, Janet? And so then this one. Can you see? Because it's in white too, it's probably going to be hard to see. But this one is indented. You know, it's pushed in. So where I can run my finger and you can actually feel that it's actually like stamped in there. And then... Oh, this one's got the cartridge in it already. Oh, now see. So then we should be able to see how it works. Right? It's in there. So now they also say, too, that the fake ones, they don't actually close all the way. That part of it um, will show. But mine didn't. Mine did close all the way. So I want to see what the difference is. But now see this little ring? The little ring the stopper ring so the guy says that the writing should be inside and out see but now on this one there's no writing on the inside it's plain but it's sturdier too like when I took the one off of this one it was like all kind of not mealy but it was like soft and it was like already peeling from there so so I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not so let me see if I have a piece of paper where is my little book? Hi, Sarah. Oh my gosh, Sarah. Every time I see you post, I probably have to let it slide, come down, post a book, I think of them saying, 
Uh, Sarah has as many books as I have flowers. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know how you use all of those. So now this one, this pen feels a lot. The barrel, so I don't know if you see if you could see. It doesn't look the same. I mean, it looks kind of similar. I don't know if you can see. It's hard to see because it's all black in here now. But when I hold this pen, it's just, um, it's like, it's like smoother or like it feels, it feels better. It feels better than when I ha hold this one. This one, this one seems thicker down here. I don't explain it. And this one seems a little thinner, a little thinner down here. So there we go. Oh, and this has blue ink. So oh, that's good because I don't have any that has any blue ink in it. So now, Janet, can these, um, <laughs> I know, Sarah, that's how I was with my flowers. Can these have permanent ink in them? That's what my question was. And so let's see how thin that is compared to this. And he says that the tip is off somehow. I can't tell that. I mean, I'd have to have like really fine. And this just says Lammy on it and this has initials or something on it, but I don't know. But definitely this one does feel better in my hands, like lighter or something compared to this one. This one seems thicker. But the nibs are exactly the same, so I don't know. So I definitely have to clean this one out, but now this is my new one. <laughs> my new Lammy. You can buy a version of the permanent inks to use in fountain pens. Oh, okay. So does Lammy sell the cartridges? Because I did get these, um, which are Lammy cartridges made just for theirs. The Lammy cartridge refill. But it doesn't say if it's, um, you know, permanent or anything. Carbon. No. So when I run water on this, let me get my water pen. This will probably move, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so they're, they are not um, permanent. You want a Daiso close one. Oh, the Daiso close to you. I know. I see Sarah go all and gets all those cool things, and it's like, oh, wish we had one here. Even in New York, they don't have one. So it must be just on the West Coast. So, so I'm happy now. So I'll, I'm just going to clean this one out. And if it cleans out, I'll probably just keep it. Um, but if it um, leaks, then I'll, I'll have to send it back. All right. So that is most fountain pen inks oh, are not permanent. But when we use Jane's, now this is, this one is Jane's. She calls it her epic pen. And then this is the one that I got off of Amazon. It's called the Platinum. That's just the name of it, Platinum carbon ink pen and these are permanent so that's why I'm surprised that if these could take permanent ink why the others can't you know so yay I'll have that settled all right so I got that and that and then my last thing I wanted to share is Gabby got me which I did not um, yeah that has platinum carbon ink in it yeah, so can I get those for my Lamy pen? The Platinum car Carbon Ink? That's what I want to know. So she did wind up getting me this because I was using this for my um, for Tam uh, Tammy Laporte's class. And she was using all these colors, the pink, the purple, and the teal. But now you can get these um, at Michael's, which I did not know. Tombos. The one thing that I really wanted to get there, did you see when you went to Michael's, they had the, um, oh, what was it, uh, I think it was a Dr. Martin's um, electric, or it was iridescent inks, and they were like in a 12 in a round tub. They were $99. So even if you used your coupon, 50 off coupon, they were 50 bucks. So I figure I'm going to wait till next time they have a 50 plus a 20, and then I'll get that. 
You can buy carbon ink in the bottle. Okay. And put it in other fountains. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. I know. Nobody, everybody tweeted all that stuff for Michaels, and nobody shared the, all the mermaid stuff. I saw the mermaid. The mermaid covers, the mermaid planner. <laughs> bad, bad girls. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know that, um, don't put the D, oh, no, I won't, I won't put that in my fountain pens now. But I like these because they were iridescent. I mean, the colors look so nice. Uh, you know, it's those big round bottles, like, um, the FW bottles. They're like this one, kind of like this, but they're the big fat round ones. And so, um, yeah, so I definitely want to put, the, I definitely want to get that, but I'm going to wait until they have the, 50 off plus the 20 off. So, and these, if you've never seen these pens, oh, these are like one of my favorite pens. And they were right super fine too. You can see just as fine as the, the Lamy one. But only difference is that that's permanent. So you can see this one here. And these feel really nice in your hands. I love the way they, these feel. I like them because you can sketch over. Um, acrylic paint I don't think you can do that with the others so you just have to be careful that when you are um, you don't press too hard that you're getting the paint inside that little nib you know you got to wash it off so you just got to be careful but Jane uses this in her um, journals all the time an over paint acrylic paint it's got to be super dry though so the last thing Jan uh, Janet was talking if you guys don't know Janet she's Monkey Island Business here on Ustream as well as YouTube and is that it? she has the broad tip Poscas, but now I just found these Poscas, and these are 0 .07. I don't know if you can see that. 0 .07, the Poscas. My Lamy pin is, um, I think it's extra fine or fine. The Lamy one. Pretty sure it's. Yeah, it's fine. This one is a fine. And you can see it's just as fine as this platinum one. You can see the two lines there are just about the same. Compared to that one, the white one. Oh, I'm off camera there. So this is the fine. Seems like if no, there it goes. There we are. And then this is the platinum one. So you can see it's just about just about the same. Yeah, the fine. Yeah, have you used them, Jennifer? Oh, the ultra fine. So I don't know if these are ultra fine or not. Do they say that? <coughs> uh, yeah, ultra fine. That's what these are. These are ultra fine. So Janet, sorry. <laughs> you can get your Poscas in ultra fine tip now. Yeah, those are the books. She's putting uh, the different books that I put out there. All right, so that is the end of my little Christmas haul, kind of. I thought some black paper. I will show you how fine this nib is. Uh, let me see. I have a white chipboard here. I mean, black chipboard. And you're not cra crazy about the Lamy? Feels like the nib is... Oh, really? Crooked? <coughs> I don't know, Karen. So there you can see the... It's very fine. This one. See it? I don't have the Poscas in the um, brush tip. 
So Gabby just got me these for Christmas, so. Alright. So, the reason I came on today is because I want to... Oh, let me get my... If you are part of James Burke, and James Burke, he used to be on um, Jane Davenport's design team. And now he's branched off on his own. And he has a Facebook page called The Burke Mates. So he gave us a challenge. And we have to have it in there before um, January 5th. I'll just read in the chat for a second. <coughs> hi, Queen Pam. So hi, everyone. So um, this was um, the sketch that he... Oh, isn't cute little zebra? <laughs> Coloring page. Um, so this was the sketch that you have to, um, he challenged us to do something with. So a lot of people are painting them. What I want to do is I'm going to move out now again. There we go. Yeah, he's so good, isn't he? And I have, um, so I thought I would, um, do something different instead of doing um, just a journal page and he also did like a pop-out page where he popped the girls out so I want to do um, party hats <laughs> so I took cut the two girls out and I'm gonna put them on watercolor paper so you can see I have to move the girls out more um, nope the other way so I want to do party hats so that's what I'm going to do and that's something I'm not interested in um, and you can just go to another video <laughs> but this is what I'm going to do so I got some watercolor paper oh wait I have two more things to show you I forgot because I've thrown on the floor here <laughs> oh I'm put that there So I did get these erasers. Gabby wound up getting me these cool white erasers from TJ Maxx. Isn't that cool? Just big, thick white erasers. So I'll leave one of those out. Well, thanks. Thanks, Jill. And then I did get... I had given uh, journals to a couple people. And um, I love this one so I wound up finding this at TJ Maxx and um, the art the um, artist that paints these is called spring wit taker and I love that and it does all he has a sloth I don't know if it's a he or she um, has a sloth too which I want to try to do <laughs> so I did wind up getting that it's a it's like a planner so I probably will do um, sketching in it so I'm not sure what I'm going to use for it, but yeah, I've had to get that, had to get that one. <laughs> they had a couple of them. They had a donkey one, um, the giraffe, um, a couple. <laughs> what did you repaint? I missed it. Oh, <laughs> they do, CB, they do. All right, so, so last two things that I, um, the last thing that I got was, um, Jane Davenport's, uh, new colors and she came out with some new um washi tape that's supposed to be available at michael's and i was there and forgot to look sometime after christmas so um she did come out with the new color um the orange which is called this one's called the zebra was from um tj maxx i got quite a few good things there from tj maxx this year So this one's called Fresh Orange. So I did get that one. Because of course I have the other ones. <laughs> I wanted to put them in ink pens and fool around with them this year. And then this one, the lemon one. Ah, stuck. <laughs> Which one smells like that? Eileen. 
orange one. <laughs> oh, it's stuck. I mean, man, it, it smelled like a skunk. <laughs> the smell doesn't last long, so. Oh, I can't open it. Oh, the blueberry one, yeah. I really like the ocean one. That one smells good. And, so, and then this one is called Lemon Sherbet. Lemon Sherbet. So I did get those two colors. But she, if you look on her video, she shows that um, you can take cut and dry and put them in put them in these little pill box. They're like pill boxes, but these are really for liquid. So you can put the little cut and dry in here and then squeeze the ink and then work from this. So it's like a little travel thing. Well, if you have a Bed Bath & Beyond next to you, around you, they sell the same exact container. Because I was in Bed Bath & Beyond um, over Christmas. And when I saw it, I'm like, oh my god, that's her container. I need to buy. Really? Oh, yeah. She puts them in all that stuff. I'm not putting them in a... She puts them in an ink pen. She puts them in a dauber. She puts them in... I don't know. In these little things. <laughs> yeah, she uses them. Well, you know, she's... You know, I'm sure she gets them, whatever. But anyways, but if you do have some of her inks and you're interested in putting them in um, a little travel journal-like, and she gives you the names for them... Um, yeah, you can find them at Bed Bath & Beyond, so just to let you know. And that you probably could use with any type of ink if you wanted to do it. And then I did wind up getting her, oh, there it goes, the whole thing went. <laughs> I did wind up getting her oil pastels, so, which we might use today. I'm going to open this. Yeah, she does. And she does. Mm -hmm. I love her containers, though. I mean, if you love her style, which I do, you guys know I do, um, I love um, all of that. And the great thing about this is, like, if you people, if you can't draw faces, not even with her, with uh, Jane's stuff, but anybody's stuff, if you put a piece of um, acetate over it, you know, clear acetate, and just trace it, and you can use that as practice. Yeah, these are water soluble. Mm -hmm. I can open them. Probably has glue or something on them. Oh, they went this way. So, yeah. So, maybe we'll use them. Try it out. See. On our stuff that I'm going to do now today. So, yeah. And so, that was all I got. <laughs> so. Yeah. She has the Neo ones, too. These, which I haven't used either. These are the Aqua Pastels. These are, no, sorry. These are not water. They're pa She says they're powder pastels. These are the powdered ones, and these are the aqua. So we'll try to use those. So I thought I would go ahead and work on my little hats for the challenge. Yeah, they are pretty colors. Ah, there's something else about. <laughs> I have a big mess to clean up after this. <laughs> yeah, that's all I need. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. <laughs> Yes, yeah, she's a new Timmy. Ah, my Michaels had Timmy all his Christmas stuff, you know, the little reindeers, the Santa Claus, his little car, whatever he came out with for Christmas, 70% off, and almost all of it was there. Like, I probably, I think I'm the only one that bought his stuff before Christmas. I mean, it was a ton. It was like nobody bought any of his stuff. Yeah, so it's all 70 off, and I couldn't get it because I already bought, like, one or two of some things that I really liked. So it was like, I really didn't need three or four of them. 
but I haven't really used the first couple. <coughs> All right, so I thought what I would do, I'll put this away, All right, the packaging is what gets you because it's so pretty. So what I want to do is I'm going to trace, because this is just on um, computer paper, what I want to do is trace this on watercolor paper. I'm going to have to do two separate things, I think. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I think I need some water. <coughs> Too many things going downhill, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think he's just as popular anymore. <coughs> Alright, so we're going to trace this. I thought about um, embossing this too, but that's upstairs, so that's not happening. <laughs> and then I want to do the fold line. store oh my goodness Sarah <laughs> she's lucky she has Daniel Smith by her she has a Daiso by her have fun so this hat's a little bit taller and the other one's a little bit smaller What I want to do is I want to try to keep it, I really thought about making it like really fluffy, but afterwards I want to put them in um, a journal. <coughs> so I want to keep them kind of flat. So I'm going to see how we're going to do that. Yeah, she would, wouldn't she? I was like, well, I wanted to do something. I wanted to do like flowers on there. And then I was like, well, what am I going to do with it after? So I'm thinking I'm going to um, do it flat. All right, so that's this girl. Stick that one with her. And then this girl's a little bit shorter. The short hair. Like, see, I sketched um, lace on her shirt. So I want to try to get some lacing done on her shirt. <laughs> she doesn't have any flowers say that isn't so Eileen I sent her um, the mixed media um, PBO so like you have Eileen so hopefully um, she said she's going to share that when she gets a chance so you'll get to see that Put her on a can. Oh, that's a good idea. I could probably put her on a canvas. Well, we'll see how big, how uh, how much stuff I get on there. <laughs> if I can keep her kind of flat looking, <coughs> um, and then I'll put her in a journal. If not, then that would be a good idea on a canvas. this one. Bye CB. Back in a while. Okay. <laughs> See you later. So, she's... I want to get to this fold line. And anybody can, if you're part of his Facebook group, anybody can enter. He's actually giving away these, um, I'm talking about James Burke. He's um, 
he used to be on Jane Davenport's design team, and he has um, a Facebook page called The Burke Mates, and he actually um, designed this. Where is it? This. He designed this. So it's James Burke Creative is his YouTube channel, and um, he asked us to enter to enter the challenge, and the challenge was to decorate it, do whatever you want with it. He had no rules what you wanted to do with it. And he's actually giving away these cool journals. They were um, a Kickstarter journal. The guy who um, designed it, he's from Disney. I forget what his name is. Um, but he's an artist for Disney. And he used to, I guess, teach students. And so what it was was one of his students that had a regular black sketchbook like he always used. And um, so she wind up do, using the sketchbook as kind of like a journal. So on one side, this side she would sketch, and on this side she would keep her notes or whatever, um, appointments and that kind of stuff. And he'd never seen that before. So they got together and they designed a um, kind of like a journal um, sketchbook. And they asked, I think it was six or seven famous artists um, to participate. And so... I think they came up with four or five um, sketchbooks, and each of the covers um, is designed by a specific artist. And then inside where the um, months are, they have um, the artist that does um, Inktober. So when you turn to October, all his prompts are on there for um, Inktober 2018. And then uh, for Mer. May for the month of May, you know, it's mermaid. Um, the guy who um, has the hashtag mermaid has all his uh, 2018 um, hashtags for mermaid on it. And then the rest of the year, they have other prompts. So, like, if you wanted a prompt for that day, like for today, there's a little space for the prompt. Um, yeah, if you go to his Facebook page, he has a whole, or even his YouTube, and he talks about um, his giveaway, and it's these cool um, sketchbooks. So they're hard covered, and when you open them up, they're spiral bound in the inside, but they lay flat. So I think it is, you could still buy it. You have to check on his YouTube, Eileen, and see. But it's a Kickstarter one, so you could get the craft. He's giving away a craft one, or the. One with the girl. There's like a girl on there. She kind of looks like um, one of the Disney princesses. So, I'm trying to do a traditional swipe. Yeah. So, check that out. Yep, if you're interested in it. So, I figured this was what I was going to do for my challenge for it. Because um, he already did a couple of nice challenges. And so, I was like, wow, what are we going to do now? <laughs> All right, I need a bone folder. Let's see. I'll just use this in my, oh, here's my ruler, so I can fold this. This is just so that I can bend this back like this. Oh, there it is. Jennifer has it. It's kickstarter.com projects. I can't read the rest. I'll try to put it, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll um, link it in the uh, description below. So if you're interested, um, I will also link his YouTube where you can see his whole video about the whole story about it. All right, so this is for the short girl. And then this is for the long girl. Thanks, Jennifer. So I thought I would do these. Now, his favorite color is red. So I thought I would do one girl kind of in red, and then his partner, his husband, um, Steve, he loves electric blue. So I thought I would do one in electric blue. So I really wish I would have been bossies first. But since we can't do that. So I have some um, fabric, too. So I thought we would... I have this one with the snowflakes, which I thought was cute. If I did a gold background on the back and then put this on top, this would look cute. Um, I could do that for him. And then for the short one, I thought maybe since Steve likes the blue, I would do this blue. Maybe do it because he loves Cinderella, and this kind of reminds me of Cinderella. So I thought I would do these two. So this was the fabric that I could do this white one too. Maybe red underneath. And then the white snowflakes on top. Ooh, that's what I'll do. So. 
All right, so I thought I'm going to take, take my watercolors. Oh, you know what? I have to go get water. So just chat amongst yourselves. I have to, like, tiptoe through this section here um, while I get some water. Um, where is my water jug? And just fast forward if you're on YouTube with, like, a minute or two. Have some water, paper towels. Tip to whoops. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, the fabric. Um, Sue gave it to me, <clears throat> so that will be cool. All right, paper towel here. I'll have to add some glitter on there too because he loves glitter. So, so I have this. I'll move that over to the side there. Get this out of the way. I need a paintbrush. These. <laughs> she did, Joan. my creamer uh, creamer watercolors. I really want to use my metallics. So this is not the metallics. I think this one's a metallics. <coughs> oh no, this is not my metallics either. But this one has some kyanite. Let's see what we could use. This one has got like a shiny blue. Let's see if I have my other one here. Hold on, I'm going to go through my stash here. What do I do with my? There it is. Yeah, these are my metallics. So I thought I would do like a um, pearl. This one's not even the white pearl. It's got the nice blue that the, he likes. Right. So that's not it either. <laughs> I'll look through my Daniel Smith ones. Um, hold on. I have no idea where my, my other watercolors are. All right, we'll have to just, just have to trek on with this. <laughs> All right. So what we'll do is put the watercolor in here, let it dry, and then we'll work on the um, on the faces. So I actually have some what do you call it? Jolies I want to use. Let's say Happy New Year's. So I guess we'll just go with this with the silver one. For now. All right, so it's on both of these. So this one I think I'm going to do red underneath. So let's see if I have a red. Let's do this pearly white one first. All right, so I can use the electric blue since we're doing blue underneath. Let's do the blue. I just want to see what color that is. 
Oh yeah, so that's kind of electric blue. Just reading the chat for a second. <laughs> All right. So this is Kramer's uh, paints from um, New York. These are a uh, German watercolor metallic. That patty. Um, Inky Obsession uh, here on YouTube, as well as um, Ustream got us all involved in. <laughs> so it looks like white. You can see it. it's white, but then it has like a blue, like a bluish tint, kind of. It's hard for you to see. <clears throat> what I should have done was just wet this all first. We can let this dry and then we can put the. I want to see if maybe I'm going to come in with the darker blue after. <clears throat> ah. So I'm going to put it on the other side so it doesn't curl as bad. So if, you're, if you do use watercolor and you're trying to have it not curl, it's best to wet both sides. Did I mix those colors? No, these are all red. They come like this. This is their metallic um, palette. This is what the colors I used all of Ink October. This was a um, palette that I used. Oh, Jean, yeah, she did um, her Peggy's Cove. It came out really nice. I saw that on your mom's wall, Gina. It's really pretty. All right, so I don't have to worry about covering it too much because it is going to um, be covered with fabric. All right, there. I don't know if you could see that right there. You can see that's a light blue. It's a very light blue metallic like. All right, so then let's do the red. So I'll wash this off. Well, not red. I want to do um, like a white. So let's see. So let's do the silvery one. So I'm going to spray it both front and back. She already had a hook. Oh, that's good. So it's meant to be. Oh. oh, this was the palette you were asking about? Yeah, this is a creamer. Um, it's called, uh, as you can see it, the number is 881005, and it's creamer's watercolor set, Pearl Luster. Pearl Luster. Yeah, I love that one. It's so pretty. All right, so um, this one I'm going to do with just the silver. It's like a white, kind of like a white silvery color. It's really pretty. So I don't know if you could see, if you could see it there. It's just a white, right there it is, white, like a white shimmery metallic. <clears throat> Yeah, I use these a lot during October. I 
color. This one color here, the violet one, is really pretty. It was like perfect for Halloween. So I might even actually wear this for New Year's. <laughs> Depending on what we're doing, we're still not sure what we're doing. Might go to our friend's house. We're not sure. All right, so make sure we get that all in there. All right, so you can see how shiny that is now. All right, so we'll put that to dry. And then we'll work on, well, let's see what happened here now. So now we're going to work on the bodies. So I need. I was actually I should have brought down my um, my machine that I could actually see through. My what do you call it laser thing? Of course that's upstairs. All right. So, so I might have to hold this up while I'm doing this. I wish I could have printed it on there, but it's so hard to, um, to print. Let's see. This might be too hard for me to do up. I'm just fine of holding it up to the light so we can see what I'm doing here. And I want to fix the arms so that they actually come down with a hand because he doesn't have any hands on those. <laughs> so. kind of like that. All right. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of weird right here. All right. Just color the black with your Oh yeah, that's true. I could do that. So maybe I'll do that for the for the face. on the outside of that. That's close enough. I'm going to put stuff over it anyway, so. All right, so now this was the short one. You want to keep it straight. Well, maybe we'll just color it on here first, and then I can, I can um, what do you call it, cut it out after. And this is for the long one. All right, so I'm going to do that, what Jean said. to make a live stream for oh hi Sophia <laughs> yeah it's not my usual time although I'm sure Paul loves this time right Joan <laughs> I'm sure he does Yeah, 
I'm just working. If you're just coming in, I'm just working on a challenge over at uh, James's uh, Facebook page. It's uh, James Burkmates. If you know James, he's on YouTube. He was on Jane's uh, design team. So I thought we'd use some of his stamps too. I have quite a bit of his stamps, so maybe we would use that. I didn't do this part for the neck. Close. Close enough. All right. So there we go. Yes, he does. He does what? I missed it, Joan. <laughs> All right, so let's use, what shall we use? I'm trying to think what I do want to use. I think I'm going to use my platinum pen to refine the face. Can you guys see? I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. Uh, a hole punch. Where's the hole punch? I'm missing it. Is it on my desk somewhere? A hole punch. I'm missing a genie. And <laughs> that's yep, close enough is true. Nope, wrong way. There we go. Let me see, I'm just reading the chat for a minute. It's cool Japanese. Is it on my desk? Do you see it? Because I don't know what she's, which one she's talking about. Hole punch. All right, I'll keep looking. I'm just going over the pencil marks. Whoever's looking for a hole punch Janet used yesterday. Oh, Japanese one like, um, is it kind of like you push down? I know Martha used to have one of those. I have that. Oh, it's not on my desk. Oh, <laughs> I've used it in the past. Um, the one that's not the one that I spin around, is it? Wow, look at those arms are pretty fat. <laughs> Got some good cat arms there. Got to smooth those out a little. I'm not sure what I want to do with this part <laughs> on that part. Yeah, and it spins around. Yeah, that's an old, um, old Martha Stewart one. Needs a little nose. All right, let's, let's do this one. Somebody else used to make that punch too. I remember when scrapbooking came out and that's how we had to make our holes in the beginning. A lot of people came out with a kind of a punch like that.
Yeah, it was the Martha Stewart one. That's what I thought. Yeah. I don't know if you can still find those around or not. All right, so we can um, let's use those little pastels. So I'm gonna use these of Jane's. eyelid setters they had eyelid setters and they also had yep the um the one that you spin around yeah oh they have them oh she says they have them on amazon so there you go genie all right so i'm actually going to rub off some of this and usually it has like a little wax built up or something on there so let's see what that looks like yeah so maybe i will just come around the edge here I probably should have erased all that pencil beforehand, but I'm going to have a set of three. You can't see it's very light, so I want it a little bit darker. So I should have erased that pencil. Let me erase this one from here. This is not a very good eraser. I wonder where my other one is. Right there. Hi, Misha. All right, it's going to add a little bit more color on here. Go to um not really the color I want. I'm thinking maybe if I should go to my acrylic acrylic paint. I really haven't had much practice with these. Well they like Neo 2s, but like I said, I really haven't used my Neo 2s either. Oh there we go, that looks a little better. I'm thinking I want to put gloves on her too, so. You can see her there now, it looks a little bit. Okay, kitty! <laughs> Time is 4 o'clock already. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the red. I want to go on here. Put some of this on there. Put some red on for her cheeks. Oh, no, not tonight. She's 
She's not on tonight. Oh, she has heavy workload, so Angie is not streaming tonight. All right, so just a little color on there. So I definitely want to find, um, I've got to find my my little crown that I have for them. All right, so let's see. Is that that? I've got a little pink. I might have to go in there with my colored pencils. I can't decide what to do with the hair either, so I have to decide what to do with that. Um, I'm looking for my little crowns that I have. I thought I brought in here. Uh, what's that? Okay, Denise. Have a good New Year's if I don't see you. Uh, where is my, my New Year's paper? All right, let's see if this is dry. It is. I really want to put my little crowns on, which I don't see. Oh, I brought them in here. Just hold on one second. I'm looking for my little New Year's Eve crowns that I brought. I got them. I got them. Do the hair and glitter? I brought, actually bought some yarn somewhere. So I wanted to see. See, these are his stamps here. These are. He has four different sets out. That's one of them. I have these cute little, um, see this one says Happy New Year's, and then this one's got the little glass. I want to put that in their hand. So let's see. Let's see how we're going to put this on. Let's cut this out first. So 
I'm going to do is I'm going to have to slit. I'm going to have to slit her here on the sides to get the crown on there. I wish I had my knife. I found my knife, and then now I don't know what I did with it. I got my other scissors, so we could do that. All right, so let's decide on the hair. Let me cut the other one out. Oh, Wink of Stella. I also have, do I have Jane? I think I have Jane's uh, glitter ones, too. have any wink. I have one one wink of Stella and it's the um, the clear one which is upstairs yes tickles that's what I'm gonna use Eileen yes all right so I need a cardboard we'll have to put her hair in first So I'm going to do, let's see, this is kind of Cinderella-ish, so I'm going to do this one kind of like a yellow, and then do hers kind of red, okay. since he loves red hair. I also have these cute little hats. I might try one of these New Year's Eve hats on one of them, maybe on hers, we'll see. Um, I'm going to slip this one. Do rainbow hair. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm going to slip this right here. Yeah. And now I can't find my knife, so no yelling. <laughs> no yelling. All right, so I'm going to do is cut this off. Here. And this should slide right in there. Can't squeeze that one in. Right there we go. So can you see that one says Happy New Year on there. <laughs> I celebrate. <laughs> wow, that's good. touch it nice to see you okay and on um, this girl I think I'm going to put the hat so let's see off to work <laughs> now so this one I am going to put the see how this goes We put the dark hair on her, then this hat will fit her perfect. So, see, I'll put the New Year's Eve hat on there. So, I think I'm going to give her kind of reddish hair. And what do we say, blonde for that one, right? Um, all right, so I'm going to use my 
metallic. So let's see. So I'm going to pull this one out. And we'll go with maybe gold hair for her. How about that? Gold hair for her. Just reading the chat there for a few minutes. You'll be able to see the top of her head anyway with that on there. And then I could put some gold stickles in her hair. So we have her there with the light yellow gold hair. <laughs> and then this one we're going to give us some reddish hair. The only thing I have that's kind of red, this is like pink. Let's see what this is. I forget what color this is. Looks like pink. This one, oh, that's more red. That's the one we'll use. So you can see that's kind of like a red rusty color kind of. <laughs> yeah, Joan does find a lot of cool things, doesn't she? Get some reddish, rusty color hair going on there.
So we're going to glue this one on to here. Just want to make sure that when I turn this. All right, some tape. I'm gonna stick some tape at the bottom here. I get this because I don't want her hand to be too in the wrong place. So like this one, make sure I get her right in the same place as I got that one. Okay, so there's that one. And then this one is this. Tape on this. <laughs> oh, poor Paul. I because sometimes I forget which dies I have and then I wind up with duplicates. <laughs> All right, so this one, let's see where this one, this one that was off. No. All right, so I want to get this one in the same spot when I have that. Close enough. All right, so then when we put her put her on. She will be just like that. So it'll be a nice little cute little party hat. All right. So now let's see how we're going to, let's put their hats on. First of all, I want to make sure I get the little cute hat on there. This one is going to. This one is on. This is New Year's. other side. Might want to put some bangs on her or something. She's got such a big forehead. <laughs> um, all right. And then we'll put the New Year's hat on this one. So there we go. So there's that one with the New Year's hat on. <laughs> uh, and then this is the one with the, the one that says Happy New Year. Because see that says Happy New Year on that one, on that girl. <laughs> So now we'll add some dresses on there. And then what time is it? I have to go in a half hour, so whatever we don't finish, I'll have to finish later. Um, I do. I could either put the champagne. Did I take one of these out? Yeah. One could have the bottle of champagne in her hand. <laughs> 
She could have the bottle of champagne, and the other one could have a glass. This one could have the glass. I'm gonna have to put another. I might have to put another hand there. So we'll see. So I'm gonna use one of these. I'll probably have the champagne bottle there. Thanks, Eileen. And probably the glass there. All right. So let's work on the dresses. So this is the one I wanted to do red, and put this one. So if we put that on there like that. She might need a stick of wire in the back of the head to cover the back view. Um, I might um, I might do the back view, just paint the back of you somehow. All right, so I think I want this to have a red dress. So let me see, what do I have in red? I should have my, my Jane ones here. Let's see. Red. And then if I did a journal page, I could add all these other little, um, I like the blower. One of them could have one of these blowers, maybe. So we'll see. All right, so I am going to, oh, what happened? There we go. So I'm going to actually do the dress red. <laughs> Thanks, Kimberly. Is this the one that has the beads? No, I don't think so. So I'm just going to come across. And we'll put some lace or something like that on top of her, her on top of here, stickles or something. Maybe I put a little strap here. So there we go. Oh, to stand her straight up. And what I might do is put the back. I might do, um, yeah. Well, when I glue her arm down, see how she she bends this way. But when I glue her arm down, then she'll stay straight up. We can't glue the arm till after we finish finish the um I'm thinking yeah I'm just going to I'm gonna paint the whole dress red. So then we'll put the lace over top of it. Get her hand in there. I'll spray the back of this. <laughs> what? So it looks kind of like ruffles too underneath, it'll look like, hopefully.
So the white, you can still will see a little of the white in the sheen that we had on there before, which is nice. All right, so there we are. We have her red dress. I'm going to leave those little streaks of white in there. So there you can see how kind of how she looks. We'll put that to dry, and then we'll do um, the blue. So I don't want to do a dark, a dark blue on that one. Maybe we'll do a soft blue, teal turquoise. No, I didn't finish. No, I'm doing working on the next girl here. What's this one? I'm trying to make her more like Cinderella because he really likes Cinderella. <laughs> so kind of more like that. All right, so this one, make sure I get all the red out of there. So this one we're going to do in the blue, turquoise blue. Thanks, Joan. <laughs> I'm spraying the back so it doesn't curl up on me too much. So I think I'm going to go with uh, the 70s eyeshadow. So that's this one. Since we have the blue going over that, and I'm trying to make her more like Cinderella. Yeah, it looks like pleats in her dress. Exactly, Eileen. Yep. Because you can still see the shininess on you guys probably can't see it, but um, I can see it. I put a little bit more streakiness in this one. Yeah, if you guys have nothing um, to do, if you're watching over on YouTube and you're interested in watching the girls on um, New Year's, uh, you can go to Jean's blog, and I'll put that in the description below. So if you guys are interested in this one, I kind of want to make her like a high neck. If you're interested in um, doing something for New Year's Eve, you can check that out. Ugh, I don't know where. And this one, I kind of want to give her like a lace, like a little lacy effect. So you can see her there a little bit closer up like that. And then what I want to do is kind of put like a lace um, effect in here if I can get it close enough. I might have to do some of this with um, some colored pencils or so more like she's got kind of like a, a lacy dress on. Now, oh, thanks, Kimberly. Thanks.
Yeah, so you can see she's got like a lace on there. Hey, Sherry. <laughs> All right, so let's see what else we could do. Maybe we'll do. I I want it to be like all lace like on top. Really should have made this more like a sweetheart little heart in here. A little purple like hanging down. So there we are. So we got that down so far. So now we can go ahead and put the lace. I really like how that looks. I don't know if you can see the metallic. Can you see the metallic in the, yeah, you can a little bit, in the dress? That one looks really good. All right. So this one's getting the white over it. So this is going to go on like this. So I'm going to add some, oh, I hope I have some fabric tack. Yep, I do. So I'm just going to add some fabric tack between some of that. Can you see how that looks like pleats underneath? That looks really good. Then we'll have to do something with our top. All right, so I'm going to glue. Put some glue on here. Thanks, Chun. Thanks, Dar. <laughs> so it'll still be flat enough that I'll be able, I think I'm going to put them in my journals because I really want to do a journal, New Year's um, journal page. So I don't want to put a lot of fluffiness on them. What time is it? Oh, we got like 20 minutes. Uh, oh, thanks, CB. It'd be great. I would love to win the win the journal. So that's what I'm hoping. I'm gonna put a little bit on this edge too. Although I can't decide. I really would like to pick the. The craft one and have him draw something on there for me but I think that's asking a bit much <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is probably take the one that has the girl on it already so I'll make sure I have the right side and I think what I'll do is I'll just hold it at the bottom and that should be enough for that oh thanks Sophia yeah, the streakiness really makes it look like pleats. And then when I turn it into the party hat, it should look, look should look pretty good. Yeah, and that should hold that one pretty good. And then I'll have to do put probably put a little bit more on the top part of her. Fool around with that a little bit. So let's let that dry, and then we'll put this one on. So I want to put some little, I have these little beads in here. Oh, I should probably take this out. Ah! <laughs> Everything's falling all over. <laughs> all right, move that out of the way. I'll put this one on here. This one looks like Cinderella, doesn't it? That one's really pretty with that on there. Right, so that's going to go on there like that. I'll put that one on like that. And then on the bottom.
That one's really pretty. Yeah, the fabric is great on there, isn't it? See how pretty that looks? That looks just like Cinderella, doesn't it? I want all that. All right. Let's see, do I need anything else anywhere else? Just in here. All right, so let's cut this one off. And then what I could do is I could use some of that for the top part. So I have to thank Sue if you're watching the recording. She gave me the fabric. Thank you so much. It was perfect for this. I think this one's going to have the um, the champagne bottle. What do we do that? <laughs> what do you think? Let me just check it. What happens here stays. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks, Scooby. All right, so she definitely is going to have the bottle in this hand. So I'm going to put a little glue on there. Keep that down. Glue on her hand. She just looks like she's a bad girl, doesn't she? <laughs> so there, so that's that one. See that? And now let's see what we can do with her top. If I Let's just stick that on there like that. Yeah, she's a party girl. Yeah, <laughs> she's a party girl. All right, so maybe I can just put this into the back. I have to cut her hair here. Only problem with this glue when it explodes, it explodes all over the place. Right, I'm gonna stick that on there. This piece has to go back here. Probably put some type of stickles up there. I say that she looks like she's drunk. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, let's work on the other girl. Oh, well, we got like ten minutes. And I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do to them. I'll probably stickle the hair. I'll go in there better with um, color pencils and stuff like that. But I think as far as that, I think that's all I'm going to do. And so, see when I do the party hat. She'll look like that. I probably should have put her hand over a little more so you could see this. See this bottle.
Let's see if the party hat will be like that. So it'll be like that. This is that way, sideways. <laughs> but see, she stays pretty good once I have her hand glued. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to call her pretty much done. I mean, like I said, I'll just go in with some more colored pencils and refine her face and stuff. But I really like the way this one came out. This one's cute, the paper. Hotty toddy. <laughs> Hotty toddy's a drink, isn't it? Water, yeah, with the pleats, the watercolor, you like that? Yeah, me too. Especially through the fabric, it looks really good. Probably shouldn't have put as much red on there, but still shows like the blue one. I really like the streaks in that one. Because she'll be really cute when we fold her up. That's the little party dress. Can you see her? So let's see what we're going to put in her hands. So I think I'm either going to give her the... Um, I'm thinking I might have to draw another hand and then put the little champagne glass because it's kind of, well, I guess I could put it like that. Maybe I'll do that. I'll put that. Can't really see it that well, so I wonder if we're better off with the, um, the little blower. <laughs> Thanks, Janet. <laughs> oh, no. So I think maybe we'll put that in her hand. So let's, let me see how she comes crossed. So she's going to come like that. So if I put her with her hand right there, right above that little dot there. Should we do that one or should we do the white and blue blower? I think this one might be better. It looks like a little blower. That's the one I'll use. <laughs> you got you don't have any mess, Janet, do you? <laughs> That's what I have to do after dinner. I've got to clean all this mess up <laughs> that I just throw on the floor. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on now. <laughs> the last five minutes, that's about me. I clean it up, and then usually there's something else that's piled up on top of it. All right, so that's going to go there. I'm going to cut a little slit in her hand so it actually looks like she's holding it. I have to put lipstick on them and all that, so I might give them another hand and then have them hold up. So you can see that there. Doesn't she look cute? With a little party hat. I might give them another arm and then have them holding the champagne glass in the other arm. I think I'll leave her top plain. Might stickle her top there. You can see that there. She looks cute. <laughs> All right, so I don't think I want to do too much more to her, other than like I said, that kind of stuff. So, so thank you guys for joining me and keeping me company. Oh wait, let me say before we go. I have these really tiny pearls. I want to see what they look like on here. 
these. You see these? How sparkly these are? Oh my gosh, I want to add them on there. I got these tiny little ones. Maybe that on the bottom. Ooh, look at I got some red. Look at the little blue hearts. Can you see that? All right, so I think I'm going to do that. So this is from a place called Etsy. It's called Sparkly Treasures. And they use it for clay, mostly clay. Um, so we're going to put some of that on there. So we don't need this anymore. I had some little tiny white pearls, I thought, from her too. But we're just going to add some. I'm going to add definitely some of this. So let me move this out of the way. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So have a happy new year. I don't see you on Sunday. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> thanks. Um, so I'm just going to add a little bit of this. Let's do it on this one. So I'm going to add some glue. Oh, I'm glad you did too, Sophia. So have, have a safe new year. And a great new year. I hope you guys get everything you want this uh, 2018. So let me see. I'm going to try to poke this blue. I'll just put it here and there. Maybe I'm going to put it on her, on her dress. Yep, and if I don't see you on Sunday, I'm probably not going to come back to stream again till you'll have to check. Middle of January sometime. So I have uh, my doctor's appointment pretty soon. So I just want to show you these. These are so sparkly. I love these little things. They, like I said, they use them mostly for clay when they do clay. But they shine so much. So can you see that? See how sparkly they are? Oh my gosh, they're so sparkly. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. So have a great New Year's, everyone. And let's stick some down the middle here. I will, you know, I will be tweeting. I'm sure I'll see you um, either at Dee Dee's or Barb's. So let's stick that in there. Oh, thanks, Goofy. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. They're just so sparkly. Can you see that? So that's her new dress. And I'll probably put little streaks going down like that. But I'll um, tweet the picture when I'm finished. So, so thank you, everyone, for joining me. Have a great New Year's. Oh, I hope so, too, Scooby. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks, Scooby. <laughs> Party for you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Okay, dog. We are supposed to get a big snowstorm tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right, bye everyone. <laughs> so I'll put these two here as you can see. So there they are. <laughs> and get her to bend her neck there. <laughs> bye. <laughs> yep, yep, have a happy birthday. Yep, Joan. She'll be in the new year. <laughs> bye everyone.